little bit of reading because I love reading. You learn so much. I was reading a book called The Yucky Reptile Alphabet Book. I don't think reptiles are very yucky. They're one of my favorite groups of animals and I was learning so much about them. Why don't you come join me and we'll see what we can learn. This book was written by Jerry Pelota and Ralph Mazzillo. Let's see what they wrote about. A is for armadillo lizard. When attacked or frightened, the armadillo lizard pretends it is a pine cone. It sticks its tail in its mouth and rolls itself into a ball. B is for boa. This is an emerald tree boa. Boas swallow their meals whole because they cannot chew. The largest boas are called anacondas and can be almost as long as a school bus. C is for chameleon. Chameleons can change color and make their skin match their surroundings. What is most amazing though is the chameleon's incredibly long tongue. Wow, it really is long. The chameleon's tongue can be almost twice as long as its body. Wow, my tongue's not that long. Is yours? Its tongue is perfect for catching insects. D is for diamondback terrapin. Terrapins are turtles. The diamondback terrapin has markings on its back that remind some people of diamonds. E is for egg. These are crocodile eggs. Birds are not the only creatures that hatch from eggs. Most, but not all, reptiles are born this way. F is for frilled lizard. This Australian lizard pops up its collar and hisses when it wants to scare someone. It can also run very fast on its hind legs. G is for Gila monster. The Gila monster lives in the desert. It often has a fat tail. The Gila monster stores food in its tail for times when it cannot find enough to eat or drink. H is for horned toad. This reptile is not a toad. Since it is round and has such a short tail, people forget that it is a horned lizard. When horned lizards get mad, they squirt blood out of their eyes. What? Oh my goodness. I is for iguana. These spooky looking reptiles are sometimes movie stars. When movie makers take pictures of iguanas up close, the iguanas look just like gigantic dinosaurs. Oh. J is for joint snake. Joint snakes are also called glass snakes. They are able to break off sections of their tails. Joint snakes are not really snakes. They are legless lizards. Ooh. K is for knob-tailed gecko. This reptile never blinks because it cannot move its eyelids. It licks its eyes to keep them clean. Maybe the knob-tailed gecko could use a pair of windshield wipers. The word knob begins with the silent letter K. Let's find a reptile whose name starts with the hard K sound, like K, K. K is for Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the biggest lizard in the whole world. It is larger and longer than most people. L is for leatherback sea turtle. This ocean turtle is the largest of all turtles. It is also the most widely traveled of all reptiles. The leatherback turtle can be found all over the world in both warm waters and cold waters. M is for Moloch. Some people call this a mountain devil and some people call it a thorny devil. It would be hard to keep as a pet because it eats hundreds and hundreds of ants every day. N is for night snake. Night snakes are nocturnal. This means they do not usually come out during the day. They are ready to come out as soon as the sun goes down. O is for ornate box turtle. Box turtles have a hinged bottom shell that they can completely shut 
to protect their bodies. The ornate box turtle is prettier than other box turtles. P is for Paige's Planet and Pipe Snake. The Pipe Snake has a neat way to fool other animals. It hides its head under its coiled body and lifts up its tail. The end of its tail looks like its head. Q is for Queen Snake. The Queen Snake is a water snake that may have gotten its name because it is a picky eater and likes fancy food. It prefers to eat only soft-shelled crayfish. R is for rattlesnake. These snakes make rattle noises by shaking the end of their tails. Not many people like to play with rattlesnakes because they have poisonous fangs in their mouth. S is for skink. Everyone has heard of a skunk, but how many people have heard of a skink? On this page is a blue-tongued skink. It did not get its blue tongue from licking blue lollipops. It was born this way. T is for Tuatara. Tuataras were alive when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. They are different than all other living reptiles, although they look like lizards. U is for Urutu. This snake has the letter U at the beginning of its name. It has the letter U in the middle of its name and at the end of its name. The design on its skin even looks like the letter U. V is for vine snake. The vine snake is long and thin. It looks like a skinny piece of green rope with head attached. How can it remember where the tail, where the end of its tail is? Huh. W is for whip tail. In some places, almost all of the whip tails are female. When picked up, whip tails wiggle their heads from side to side is for Zantuja Riversiana. What? What kind of name is that? This scientific name is much too difficult for young children. People usually call it an island night lizard. Y is for yellow-headed gecko. Some geckos have suction cups on their feet that allow them to climb steep, smooth walls. This yellow-headed gecko is so cute but maybe it would rather be red-headed, orange-headed, or purple-headed. Z is for zillions. Zillions of years ago, giant reptiles lived on Earth. The giant reptiles were dinosaurs. But that is another story for another day. The end. Wow, I learned so much about reptiles in that book. I hadn't even heard of some of those reptiles before. Had you? Did you learn any new ones? Keep reading Planet Protectors and remember to like and subscribe so you can read more books with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more adventures.